Hi, friends. Okay, question of the day. Why do I always sit on the couch? Let me show you why I always sit on the couch. It's because the light works. That's why, because the light works. Well, it's Monday, uh, the Monday after Easter weekend, and over the weekend I have been reminded that Mexico is not always a calm, quiet place. Mexicans do know how to party. And over the weekend, I had the neighbor's kids in the pool. The first part of this video is them in the pool, and you may want to turn down the volume because they had a lot of fun. I wanted to tell you about a video that I'm working on. Every day I get questions about Lake Chapala's pollution, and I get sent uh, video links to other YouTube videos that have some terrible things to say about the pollution of Lake Chapala. And so I decided that I needed to do some real research beyond YouTube opinion and uh, the armchair experts of local forums. I have done that research. I'm working on putting together a video about the pollution of Lake Chapala. It's not all good. I should have that prepared and finished and uploaded in a few days. So stay tuned for that. Please enjoy my stories or whatever else might be on my mind today. I don't know if that's a tour boat or a water taxi. A comment the other day asked me if all these balustrades were here when I bought the property. No, I made molds and I made every one of those, over 200 of them, it took me two years. All of this stonework was done by me and my buddy Jesus. It was a lot of work over years. Oh, there's the molds. I made those molds. I made three of them to make the balustrades out of concrete. Just to make it more interesting here, we took three feet of dirt out to lower the level of this. Got a backhoe in here and dug it out. Oh, there's Jesus supervising. Nine dump truck loads over the wall. While I was looking for that tractor picture on some of my old hard drives, I found some other pictures that you may enjoy, or you may decide that this is like uh, your boring uncle's vacation slideshow, but um, they're just uh, random slices of my life. Enjoy. We spent a week here in these condos at the Las Hadas Resort where the movie 10 was filmed with Bo Derek. That's the lighthouse there overlooking the marina. This is about 150 miles from where we live. Wonderful place to go for a few days. Carrots and onions from when we used to garden. If you're a gardener, you can do three plantings a year here on the north shore of Lake Chapala. That's a marlin about to be filleted on that board. This was in Puerto Vallarta, and no, I didn't catch it. 
I have a collection of over 1,000 antique padlocks. This is a rare combination lock. Those are push buttons around the parameter. A Chinese trunk lock. A brass lever. This gate lock is really big. It's 12 inches wide and it requires you to turn the key eight times to lock and unlock it. And my miniature lock collection. Some of those are worth more than the big ones. A six lever pancake lock. This is a screw key lock and in the Old West jails they used to use them to hold the bars together before they had locks in the door that used a key. And I bought this up in South Dakota and uh, they told me it was from the jail in Deadwood, South Dakota, so it may have locked up Wild Bill Hickok and Calamity Jane for being drunk and rowdy. That's my story, and I'm sticking to it. This sign is from Costco in Guadalajara, Mexico. Dear member, please throw the toilet paper into the toilet. And I like that sign because it reminds me that no matter how many times I click the heels of my ruby slippers together, I am no longer in Kansas. This is some of my artwork. This one is the moon and the sun. Creature of the air. The old man in the rock. My blonde girlfriend, the realtor who helped us find our house here in Mexico. Where did all of that silver hair come from? You've seen my best friend Jesus in several of my videos over the years. We lost Jesus to cancer in November of 2018. Miss you, buddy. Hey, if you like me, give me one of those thumbs up. And please subscribe and hit that little bell so you know when I post next. Please share me with your friends on social media. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed what was on my mind today.